Hey guys, today we're doing unboxing while sipping on some bourbon. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to the Lather Hog channel where we talk about all things traditional shaving. I'm your host John and today we're mixing things up a little bit. I was inspired by fellow content creators such as IMCDB and Ken Shave 326 to do a beverage and an unboxing. The bourbon I've chosen for today's unboxing is a recent pickup. This is Knob Creek Single Barrel. Uh, this one's a store pick from uh, one of my local stores called Lic Liquor Junction. I poured some out in my glass already, so cheers! Yeah, I really enjoy this one. It has notes of roasted peanuts, caramel, kind of giving it almost a Snickers-like vibe, which is one of my favorite candy bars. If your store has the single barrel store pick, uh, it could be you know tremendous value. I know sometimes they can be up to even 15 years for some of the older bottles, and the price typically is I think around or under $50. So it's a great bourbon, highly recommend it. All right, now to the unboxing. Totally unopened. This is a... I guess large-ish order from West Coast Shaving. Got the trusty pocket knife here. Let's get to action. Alrighty. So we'll go through the products and maybe give you some initial scent impressions. There's always uh, quite a bit of packing peanuts. I mean, this is really for the safety of the items. I'm gonna have to put some on the floor just to get to the goodies. I do know that these are biodegradable packing peanuts. So if you put them in water, they will actually dissolve. So this order mostly has software and the first soap I pulled out was Union by Moon Soaps. This one, I love the label. In general, I've you know been gushing about labels for moon soaps. I believe it's a traditional barbershop. Let's put it to the nose. Not a super strong um, scent strength here compared to Amaretto and Sorrento, the other two moon soaps I have. So you'll definitely see this in an upcoming shave, but it's gonna need some lathering for the notes to open up. But it does smell, I guess, like a familiar barbershop, not you know, exactly like Sterling Barbershop or one that I've tried before, uh, but definitely has that kind of sweet, powdery kind of note that I, in general I like. So moon soaps union. All right, moving on. Let's see what else we got here. I mean, I should know, but who knows what I'll pull from <laughs> this bag of peanuts here. All right, next one up, Declaration Grooming, Big Soap Energy. Let's open her up. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice one. This is about, maybe this is right in the middle, like a five out of 10 off the puck. I'm not sure what I'm getting here. Maybe some citrus, but I can't quite place my finger on it. I think in a lot of declaration scents, uh, patchouli is used. So, I mean, I'd venture a guess that patchouli is there. There's definitely some citrus and some creaminess to it. Maybe a little bit, of, a little bit of leather. Yeah. Color me intrigued. Yeah, really interesting scent. I think I was quasi expecting a, you know, more straightforward citrus, a brighter scent, but I think there's some there's some complexity here. I wasn't expecting some richness to it um, to make it more of a kind of appropriate for cool weather scent. Yeah, I'm I'm really I'm really interested in using this, so that might come up first. For that one, I did get the matching splash here. Uh, you can see, like most of the decoration splashes that come out now, they have the menthol drops on the side, so matching splash. This should be the last soap here. And it is none other than Zingari Man, the Socialite. So around the label, it calls out the notes of lime, gin, and ice. And ice is, uh, from my memory, if it's correct, it is the synthetic menthol, which I'm actually a big fan of. Always nice pour from Zingari Man here. Ooh, that's, that's very nice. This is definitely coming off as more summery, warm weather scent. Yeah, that lime pops. So 
some juniper from which I you know that's a main scent of gin, and and some of that booziness comes off really nicely, very pleasant. I like that. For the socialite, I also picked up the matching uh, recovery splash, which is non-alcoholic. I actually really like this formula, so really excited to try these guys out. Oh yeah, I love this Knob Creek. It is, I forgot to mention, it's like 120 proof. It really uh, warms you up really nice, which is great since it's been kind of chilly here. Mm. Really enjoyable. All right, so that was my order from West Coast Shaving. I do have one extra box here. And before I decided to do an unboxing video, I already opened it just earlier today, but this is for my Good friend Gerard and you know co-host of the Ladder Talk podcast. We send stuff for each other, you know, each other to try out. And he was kind enough to send me uh, his Rockwell 6S. Uh, this is the stainless steel version. I have the 6C, uh, which is in Chrome. I recently got reacquainted with it and was kind of thinking about upgrading or adding to the Razor collection the 6S. So he sent it along his uh, with all the plates here. He also surprised me with an extra razor, and that is this uh, Peaked Cap Gillette Tech, which I've heard about before. I don't know that much about it, but I know there's some, you know, um, kind of little variations within the tech. I have uh, pre-war tech, which I really like, especially with a feather blade. And I do know in general the techs are mild, so uh, this is actually a really light razor. Uh, you'll probably see this pop up in the shave, probably with some of this gear <laughs> that I opened up today. And along with that, there's also, I think, a little bit of a preview of a new soap. I'm not sure if it's a new soap base or scent, but this is from Moon Soaps. Melody was kind enough to send Gerard uh, two samples and Gerard forward one to me. So uh, really psyched to check this out. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's unboxing and bourbon. I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Take care.